Hello and welcome to Mrs. P's Pro Story Time. I'm Mrs. Palavin, your hostess, and I welcome you for joining me once again on a fantastic story from our terrific library. And today's story is entitled Carmen Learns English. And this is a story by Judy Cox and illustrated by Angela Dominguez. Let's get started. Next fall, my little sister Lupita starts school, and I want her to speak English good, like I do. So I told her, listen to me. The first day of school was scary. Mommy gave me a hug and said, be brave, Carmen, mi hijita. Then she kissed me goodbye. I sat at my desk in the classroom with a sad heart. I wanted to go home, but I had to stay at school and be brave. So many kids and no one spoke Spanish. They talked muy fast and I did not understand. I put my head down on my desk and my tears came out. Hola, I heard someone say. I raised my head. It was a tall lady with yellow hair and a silver whistle around her neck. She smiled at me. Mi nombre es Señora Koski, she said. Soy su maestra. My teacher, her Spanish sounded muy terrible, and I could see that she would not laugh at me if my English was terrible too. Later that day, I had to be very brave. I didn't know where the bathroom was. ¿Dónde está el baño, por favor? I asked. The niños who sat at my table shook their heads because they did not understand. Just in time, la señora Koski showed everyone el baño. Restroom, she told me. I nodded. In my head, I repeated the word over and over so I would not forget. ¿Dónde está el restroom? I whispered. When I got home, I taught Lupita that important new word. The next day, we sang a song about a yellow bus. Cello bus, I repeated to, my, repeated to myself. I liked the sound of the words, but I did not know what they meant until it was time to go home. La señora Koski pointed to the school bus. Yellow bus, she told me. Amarillo, I shouted. Camión escolar, yellow bus, yellow, yellow. When I got home, I drove an amarillo bus for Lupita. We hung it on the wall over her bed. All week, la señora Koski sang the colors. She pointed them out on a rainbow chart that hung above the board. At home, I drew rainbows for Lupita and Mommy, and I told them the colors in English. Yellow, blue, red, green, orange, purple. That one was hard. But I still was not brave enough to say them at school. The next week, la señora Koski sang the ABC song. All the kids joined in. Sing it with us, said la señora Koski. I was too shy, but at home, Lupita and I held hands and skipped around the fig tree singing A, B, C, D. In school, I learned about Jack and Jill and the pale and the hill and Humpty Dumpty and all the king's men. At home, I taught the rhymes to Lupita while we played a game I had learned at recess, hopscotch. During recess, Mickey taught me jump rope rhymes and we skipped rope across the playground, chanting Texaco, Texaco, all the way from Mexico. When it was time to line up, La Señora Koski blew her silver whistle. It made a very loud noise. All the niños ran to line up. I grinned at Mickey. I wanted a whistle like that so everyone would listen to me. One day, La Señora Koski wrote the numbers on the number line. I was happy to see these numbers. I knew them all. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, I shouted in Spanish. Mrs. Koski, said Mickey, Carmen didn't say them right. Put my hands on my hips and made a mad face at her. I do say them right, I wanted to say. I say them in Spanish, but I didn't have the English words to tell her so. La señora Koski smiled at me. Let's all count in Spanish, she said. Carmen can learn English and we can learn Spanish. Okay, I said. I felt brave again. I was teaching them Spanish. From then on, I had to be the teacher two times every day. 
At home, I taught Lupita English, and at school, I taught La Señora Koski and the kids to speak Spanish. I learned to say please instead of por favor, and my class learned to say gracias for thank you. Every morning, I came to school and said good morning, and the kids said buenos días. And when I got on the bus to go home, I said goodbye, Señora Koski, and she said adios, amiga. But school was not all the time good, because sometimes on the playground I heard bad things. One day I heard a big boy tell his amigo that I talk funny. You got a funny accent, the boy said to me. For a moment I wished I was back in Mexico where all the people speak Spanish and no one makes fun of me. But then I was angry and it made me brave. I put my hands in my hips the way mommy does when something does not please her. Excuse me, I said as polite as La Señora Koski. Excuse me, I don't got an accent. It's you who got the accent. Those big boys stared at me with their mouths hanging open like they were catching flies, and I laughed to see them so. I walked over to the swings and Mickey said, Hola Carmen, will you swing with me, por favor? Yes, I said, let's swing. I pumped my legs hard and that swing flew above the playground and I saw all the kids running and jumping and playing and La Señora Cosca and La Señora Koski watching them. Her silver whistle shone in the sun. And I think to myself how much I have learned. Next fall, Lupita starts school, and she will say to her teacher, Good morning, my name is Lupita, and I am in kindergarten. I think I will be a teacher when I grow up and wear a silver whistle around my neck, like Mrs. Koski. Here are some glossary words in Spanish and English that might help you understand the story better if you decide to reread it. The first word on our glossary list is adios amiga, which means goodbye girlfriend. Next word amarillo is yellow. Amigo is pal. Buenos dias is good morning. Camión escolar is school bus. Donde esta el baño? Where is the bathroom? Gracias, thank you. Hola, hi. Mi hijita, my little daughter. Mi nombre, mi nombre es Señora Koski. My name is Mrs. Koski. Muy, very. Niños, children. Por favor, please. Soy tu maestra. I am your teacher. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. One, two, three, four, five, six. Thank you for joining me on Mrs. Peace Prose today, and I hope you'll join me for our next story, which will be just as delightful and fun to read to you, and I'm sure you will enjoy hearing it. Until then, please remember to wear a mask to protect yourself and everyone around you, and we'll see you again next time on Mrs. Peace Prose Storytime. Bye-bye.